literally welcome to Santa Fe Spirits. This is an exciting day for us. We've had an exciting six years since we started, and this will definitely be a banner day for us here at Santa Fe Spirits. We're uh, very lucky to receive some wonderful help from the state, financial help, and uh, help from the city as well. It, uh, all three of us have worked very hard to get this project to the next stage. What you see behind us is what we put in place from the last six years. And afterwards, we could even talk about the drawings and the building. We're building off the back of the distillery here. We're going to add a 4,000 square foot facility, which will be about twice the size of the production area, but it will actually mean we can produce four times the amount of spirits. Um, we've been very lucky. We're now distributed in eight states, two other countries, and we're going for more countries and more states. But we're butting up against our production capacity. After this expansion, we're going to be able to meet the capacity and grow and put a lot more people to work. But I will let our other esteemed guests, Secretary John Burella, talk next, I believe. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Yeah, Colin says cheers. So uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I think it's absolutely fabulous, these types of small businesses that add so much to our state and we're, we're just absolutely thrilled Colin with what you're doing and I'll get into some more of the details in a second. But uh, these uh, types of projects of course aren't done in a vacuum or they're not done by ourselves. We in this case have some uh, wonderful, wonderful partners uh, in our economic development and job creation efforts here uh, today. Uh, I want to acknowledge uh, Mary Gonzalez and the team from the city of Santa Fe. Uh, they have uh, been very very positive in A, the recommendation of help, B, their direct assistance as well. And, and really the most important thing that I always ask uh, of communities is that they take part uh, and participate. And uh, Mary Gonzalez and his team have been uh, very, very active in this regard. So thank you, Mary. It's been a good, good uh, uh, effort, a good team effort. Uh, and we appreciate that very, very much. So thank you so much uh, for, for bringing this uh, to our attention. And certainly uh, uh, we're very thrilled to be here with, uh, with the city of Santa Fe. Uh, also our staff. Uh, I have to recognize uh, the Economic Development Department staff uh, who work tirelessly on behalf of job creation and creating opportunities. Uh, and they're here today. Uh, just raise your hand, uh, please, because uh, be recognized, everybody with our department. Uh, they plan to do so thank you so much for what you all do day in and day out. Um, and of course, Colin and your team. Uh, we appreciate uh, your belief in New Mexico, your belief in Santa Fe and Santa Fe County, and of course, your continuing and ongoing investment into your facilities. Uh, the fact that they're at capacity and are growing is, is, is an example of a small business that does things right small business that has a great product and a small business that shows off what New Mexicans can do. So uh, our effort is to assist small businesses. And I'm happy to announce today that because of what the state and the city of Santa Fe uh, will be contributing to this project, it will help enable the small business like Santa Fe Spirits here to help them grow. Uh, fact of the matter is most of the number of projects whether it's our job training incentive program or our local economic development act monies, most of those projects go to small businesses here in New Mexico. Contrary to public misperception, sometimes misperception that gets reported, most of the projects, let me reiterate, go to New Mexico small businesses like this one. And that is an absolute priority of our department and this administration to make sure that small businesses get their share of JTIP funding and local economic development act uh, grants that help them establish themselves even further in their respective marketplaces. And if I might tap a little bit about what's being done today, Colin and his investors and his investments are enabling an expansion here in Santa Fe County and in Northern New Mexico 25 direct and indirect jobs. And the beauty of this project is that, of course, it creates direct jobs here with wonderful pay rates, approximately $50,000 for master distillers on up. Those are great paying jobs. Value added manufacturing, value added agricultural production that's being created, it's looping in and including growers in northern New Mexico. 
uh, growers of product to go into these wonderful products that they make here, the final product. So it includes not only what's going on here, but includes jobs that are so badly needed throughout northern New Mexico. And that's the beauty of this investment. The opportunities that are being created not only include here in Santa Fe, Santa Fe County, but throughout northern New Mexico. And Colin, once again, thank you so much for, for that opportunity. So let me just conclude by saying uh, how this type of production, this type of activity, is integral into our efforts to change New Mexico into a more competitive, more diverse uh, economy. We certainly know we need to do that. We're working tirelessly to help small businesses help diversify our economy with these great paying jobs. So the policies that we've enacted, but with good bipartisan support of the legislature, have enabled not only uh, companies like this one uh, get started with expansion efforts, but also continue to stay in New Mexico. Uh, as we reduce their tax burden, as we reduce their uh, burden on training, and so that they can reinvest into their people and to in their, the physical plant. And that's the whole, whole idea of, of these uh, initiatives that we have been working on tirelessly for the last five years. And uh, so with that, I will uh, cut my comments short so we can see those, those drinks. Is it five o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 three hours. hours. Yeah. Three hours so, it's uh, five o'clock always in Santa Fe. Well, Mayor, I'm going to go on the mayor's time here. So uh, I want to, again, speaking of which, uh, thank the mayor uh, for all he does and for all of his uh, time that the staff put into this project. Um, and we appreciate that so much. And with that, I would love to introduce uh, the mayor of the, your city, uh, Mayor Javier Gonzalez. So it's, a, it's a good day in San when we get to celebrate this. Uh, let me uh, start by saying thank you to Cullen and the Santa Fe Spirits family for betting on Santa Fe and for doing so good. Um, uh, I am thankful every day that uh, uh, not only are we able to enjoy the fine spirit, but that you continuously think of ways that you can grow jobs here in our community and uh, elevate the Santa Fe brand uh, globally. And, and I appreciate the work that you're doing there. To Secretary Barella and to Governor Martinez, please convey our thanks. Uh, this isn't the first time that the governor and uh, the secretary have invested in Santa Fe and, and, and had bet on Santa Fe, particularly in the area of manufacturing, which is critical to uh, Santa Fe being able to diversify our economy. Uh, when you look at the economy today in our community, more than half of it is dependent on government jobs and on uh, real estate. Uh, and we know that uh, when we want to grow a thriving economy, we have to do so in a diversified way. We have to focus on investment in jobs that aren't dependent on government or on real estate or on tourism. And this is a classic example uh, of uh, the type of projects that we need to support. Uh, this is also important because of the area where it's located. When you think about this part of Santa Fe, uh, close to 100% of our students that go to school along the Alfria Corridor uh, are eligible for free and reduced Menu, or free and reduced lunches. Uh, when you look at the average wages in this area, uh, they tend to be between sixteen and twenty-four thousand dollars a year. Uh, and so, when Santa Fe Spirits gets uh, to a point where they're able to expand and add more jobs, um, that uh, improves the health and well-being of this area. Uh, and and it's so critical that we focus on growing jobs that provide for that social mobility, so that people can begin. Uh, good careers here in our community. Uh, but it's also important to have businesses that spend a lot of their time selling their goods and services outside of Santa Fe, because that allows for us during tough economic uh, downturns for uh, there to be at least a balance in uh, the economic uh, makeup of the city so that we don't all suffer whenever there is that kind of recession. So Colin, thank you uh, again for that. I also want to just say, because I haven't had a chance to publicly uh, uh, thank the governor for um, recently signing legislation that would allow for us to continue to expand our airport, which is critical to the overall health of our economy. Uh, we have uh, uh, focused on trying to create an airport that uh, is a little bit more uh, 20th century and then hopefully into the 21st century. Um, but it's important so that Colin and, and the crew can get out of Santa Fe relatively easily. It's important that buyers of Colin's 
um, uh, product can get into Santa Fe relatively easy. Uh, and, and with this last legislative session, the governor did sign uh, $850,000 that would allow us to expand uh, uh, the airport to another gate to allow for more airlines to come into our community. So what you're seeing today, despite, as the secretary said, uh, sometimes to the contrary, you're seeing a great partnership, uh, a bipartisan partnership between the state, the local government, and the private sector with a common focus on the private sector and on jobs that are created that allow for uh, upward in social mobility that is key uh, to the economic growth of Santa Fe. So Secretary, thank you very much for continuing to bet on Santa Fe. I assure you that uh, we are focused on making sure that Colin is as successful as possible. Uh, we are also, as a secretary, when I spoke to him, said, all right, what's Santa Fe going to do on their commitment? Uh, we're going to make sure we honor that commitment of, of investing into Santa Fe spirits and assuring that this growth can happen in a, in a very positive way. So with that, uh, let me uh, turn it back over to Colin to, to tell us a little bit more and, and uh, to kind of help us conclude this effort. Thank you. I talked a little bit about sort of what we've done here at Santa Fe Spirits, but there's a lot of thank yous. I've been thanked way too many times already in this room. Can our staff put their hands up? We've got Jimmy doing sales, Adam doing marketing, Catlin manages the office here. Our distillers are back there in the hallway there. James is back there with them. And there's a few others. We have some part-timers too who are actually probably getting the bars ready to open this evening. They deserve a big thank you. I mean, literally, we couldn't do it without it. My wife's here. She deserves a thank you. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> when I'm traveling around selling elsewhere, she's the one that has to, you know, hold down the home for, and I really appreciate it. But also, we've got people who've helped us from the very beginning. Marie's here from the incubator. Santa Fe Business Incubator was very key in us, professionalizing. <laughs> they've helped. They've been very key in helping us sort of professionalize what we do and, uh, and grow in other states as well. But um, the city, Javier and his whole team, a lot of which are off, I, I heard today, filling out more paperwork, but all the needs, the legalities of all the things we're doing today. Thank you, Javier. Literally, I mean, I really big fan of him and his team. Very important. And of course, to the state, they've, they've been a big supporter of us since we started talking about this. We've already been a recipient of some JTIP grant money for some of our employees. Um, and Juan here, I see Juan over the corner there. He's been sort of pulling its strings for quite a while to make all this happen, and I really appreciate that. And Teresa, Teresa's there with him too. I, hope I haven't missed any, anybody in the room. I think I've thanked about everybody. Thanks very much, guys. But um, welcome to Santa Fe Spirits as it is now. Come back in a year's time, and we'll be a lot bigger, a lot better a lot more streamlined and uh, turning the corner into a successful business here in New Mexico. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.